Tonight, a warning from emergency crews for residents not to fly their drones near fires. And an economic boost for Port Augusta, the prison expansion set to bring plenty of full-time jobs. Southern Cross News with Tim Hatfield, reporting from Port Pirie. And good evening from here in Port Pirie, opposite the smelter. We'll have more on the transformation there underway later in the program. But first tonight, as the Spencer Gulf again swelters through some very hot weather, a warning from senior firefighters for locals not to fly their drones near bushfires. It comes amid fears that amateur drones could hamper firefighting efforts by getting in the way of water bombing aircraft. As part of a national awareness campaign, the CFS and the Civil Aviation Safety Authority is urging the community to keep drones in their backyard and away from any fire grounds. More information regarding rules and regulations can be found on the Civil Aviation Safety Authority website. For more information, head to our Facebook page. Madison Stafford, Southern Cross News. Work continues to expand the Port Augusta prison. The $57 million upgrade is underway and at this stage is set to bring plenty of full-time jobs to the region. Well, stay with us. Still to come in tonight's local news, a boost for Port Lincoln with predictions this year's tuna season is expected to be one of the best. We'll find out why when we return. Welcome back. You're with Southern Cross News coming to you tonight from here in Port Pirie. Well, the lobby group for regional councils, the Provincial Cities Association, could be no more. After nearly 20 years of operation, member councils are now all on the same page about the organisation's future. Well, stay with us still to come in tonight's local news. Wyala Netball is urging locals to get behind and support the victims of the Pinery bushfires. The details when we return. Welcome back. You're with Southern Cross News coming to you tonight from here in Port Pirie. The Wyala Council is celebrating the redevelopment of the Ada Ryan Gardens, which it says has breathed new life into the city. The Deputy Mayor is urging locals and tourists to come down and have a look, saying there's few better parks in regional South Australia. When Deputy Mayor Tom Antonio visited the Ada Ryan Gardens earlier this year, he was shocked at what he encountered. Well, not just the weather heating up this weekend, local cricket action continues. Let's whip around the grounds and check in with the experts for this week's Cricket Tips. Hello again and welcome to another week of Port Pirie Cricket. Saturday sees round 7 and 50 over cricket with props taking on Sully North in the Christmas Pageant Cup at Memorial Oval. Both sides have good bowling attacks but it's in the batting that props will have the advantage. Top of the table, Wandera take on bottom place Southport at Port Oval. Props will show no mercy to a young Southport side. Welcome to Wilder Cricket and the round kicks off with North Wilder taking on Westlands on Saturday at Memorial Oval. Westlands will go in full of confidence. They're top of the table, haven't lost a game and unless things change they should have another win versus North. The other game on Saturday sees Westies take on South. South have improved this year and I think they're a sneaky chance to roll Westies on Saturday on the hard wicket. To finish off the round, it's Rapina taking on Central's at Memorial Oval. Roos form's been down a bit lately. They'll be looking to lift. Central's form's been a little bit up and down. I think they'll go in just slightly favourites and should have a win if Collison can get amongst the runs. Welcome to this week's Port Lincoln Cricket Tips. The first game of the round sees Waybacks and Todd River at Centenary Oval. It'll be a great game this one, but tipping Todd River in form at the moment and they should get up over the line over Waybacks here. Second game of the round sees Charlton and Tasman play each other at Ravendale. Really good game of cricket this one. Going to tip Charlton but it'll be a very close game. And then the final game is Southern Air and Lincoln South out at Wongaree. Southern Air should be way too strong here. Top of the table playing bottom of the table and Southern Air will win this game for me. So it seems certain that uh, there'll be two very good games of cricket in Broken Hill this weekend. Uh, undefeated Central take on West. Uh, despite Central being undefeated this season, West have pushed uh, Central right to the wire in both their previous encounters and this should be a very close contest again. I think Central's bats are in pretty good form at the moment and uh, they may carry just too many uh, guns for a very good West bowling attack at the moment. That should be a very entertaining game. And in the game at the uh, Jubilee, I'm Tipping a boil over this week, I'm tipping South to win their uh, first game for a couple of years in uh, district cricket. I think uh, the Roos have got their best side on the park this week and they should be able to topple uh, North in a very close encounter. And of course we'll check all the results on Monday. We'll stay with us after the break, we'll have a check of the weekend's weather and it is set to be a hot one.
Welcome back. You're with Southern Cross News coming to you tonight from here in Port Pirie. Well, turning to the weather now and first to tonight's weather photo. This great shot from Gladstone sent in to us by Erin Potter. If you have a weather photo to share, you can email it in to us. We'll have a hot day right across the Gulf region and over in Broken Hill as well. 35 degrees for most sense, so we certainly felt it today here in Pirie. Port Augusta was the warmest though, reaching 37 degrees. On the national satellite, very warm to hot conditions across South Australia this weekend with northerly winds. Cloud increasing though for some parts with some storms in the far west of the state. Out on the Gulf waters tomorrow, great conditions for those heading out. Easterly winds up to 15 knots tomorrow. Seas on a south southwesterly meter, a south south southwesterly swell. The sunrise tomorrow morning at 1 minutes past 6. So tomorrow's forecast, hot temperatures on the way again, 41 degrees up in Port Augusta with 40 degrees in Wyala, hitting 38 degrees for Port Lincoln tomorrow, Broken Hill on 35 degrees and mainly clear, 39 here in Port Pirie, 39 also if you're heading down to Adelaide. And then looking ahead, warm conditions in Port Lincoln, Cleve and Woodner on Sunday as well. Temperatures set to drop though on Monday with some showers rolling in, bringing some much needed rain. The mercury set to climb to 44 degrees in Port Augusta on Sunday before showers on Monday, cooling things down just a bit. Blue skies for Kadena as well this weekend with temperatures nudging towards 41. Fine conditions in Port Pirie over the weekend. Claire will have a cloudy day on Sunday though. Broken Hill also seeing plenty of blue skies. Showers set to roll in on Sunday though with temperatures dropping several degrees by then but still staying quite warm. And that is the local news for tonight and for the week. Thanks to everyone who's been coming up and saying hi while we've been here in Port Pirie today. We'll be back at home base on Monday night from 6.30. In the meantime, you can stay up to date on our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'm Tim Hatfield from the team here at Southern Cross News. Have a wonderful evening and enjoy your weekend. Good night.